Well, we've talked about how delicious and tasty Taiwanese dishes are. In fact, when we did the culinary dishes and the culinary lessons, we found out that it's because they use a lot of spices, even ginger and onion and garlic. But guess what? I'm finding out today that not all Taiwanese dishes are created equal. In fact, some of those dishes don't even use ginger or garlic, and some dishes don't even use meat. We are here at Han Lai. This is one of the most famous vegetarian restaurants in Taiwan to sample some of their very delicious dishes. Are you ready? Buddhist cuisine is an East Asian cuisine which is followed by some believers of Buddhism. It is primarily vegetarian, a manifestation of the general Buddhist precept of ahimsa or non-violence. Parts of ancient India and Nepal, where Buddhism originated, were also Buddhist vegetarians for long periods. Vegetarian cuisine is known as cha chai, Buddhist vegetarian food in China, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, and Taiwan, do chai in Vietnam, shoujin ryori or devotion cuisine in Japan, satchal umsik, temple food in Korea, and by other names in many countries. The origin of Buddhist food as a distinct sub-style of cuisine is tied to monasteries where one member of the community would have the duty of being the head cook and supply meals in a way that paid respects to the strictures of Buddhist precepts. Temples that were open to visitors from the general public might also serve meals to them and a few temples effectively run functioning restaurants on the premises like this restaurant inside the Buddha Memorial Hall in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. the soup. This is actually almond soup. Um, it, smell, uh, it smells like almond. It looks like almond. It's white. It's nice. I kind of like the taste of the almond being a little bit sweet. And then it's actually a little bit salty. And I think it's because of the way it was cooked. It's more savory than dessert. You know, when we use almond for dessert, it's more sweet. This one is more um, savory. And inside the dumpling is actually... Um, it's saying that it's dried mushroom. See? Let me try. It's um, a little bit chewy, the dried mushroom. But I still like the flavor of the almond being a little bit salty. These look like a regular Chinese dumpling, but actually it's not. We are in a vegetarian restaurant after all, and so these are all vegetarian. Let's start with this one. It looks like a regular dumpling. It has carrot underneath, and it's the paper is green. Let me see. Mm. It's delicious. It has um, tofu inside, maybe wild Taiwanese greens. And dried mushroom too. It's very delicious, very tasty. This one, radish pastry. It looks like it's fried with sesame. It's delicious too. This one is a little bit bland. I think it also has glass noodles inside. Yeah, it does. See? And this one is a little bit sweeter. I think it's also because of the, the sesame seeds. And this is their vegetarian version of sticky rice. I see rice, of course, rice grains. And then there's different kinds of veggies. I see mushroom. I see baby corn. I see green pea. I think this is tofu. And there's also corn like that. Let me try this. It's okay, but I think, you know, as Filipinas, anything with rice is okay, right? Next dish to try is this oyster mushroom in black pepper sauce. They say it tastes like meat, but I'm not sure. We shall try that now. Yeah, it does. 
it tastes like meat and even the consistency, I feel like I'm chewing meat. And this is their version of the lumpia. I think it's fried and it's wrapped in lumpia paper, but I don't know what's inside. Let me check. It's actually good. It's shredded bamboo shoot. Mm, there's also toge inside or bean sprouts. I like it. And of course, no meal is complete without the sweets. And today, we have not one, but two desserts. First is this one. It's taro with uh, tapioca and coconut milk. Hmm. I already know this will taste good. Mm. I like it. I love taro. And I like coconut milk and tapioca too. This is amazing. I like it. And now for the finale. It looks simple. It looks like a bun. But I'm told that the surprise is inside. And this is how you eat it. Wow, what a meal. I am actually so stuffed. And if you want to eat something like this, I hear that the Shilai Temple in Hacienda Heights in California actually serves vegetarian dishes. In fact, a lot of Buddhist temples, they only serve vegetarian dishes because the Buddhism doesn't allow for killing anything live or live animals or anything like that. So if you want a vegetarian dishes, you may go to, or wonderful vegetarian dishes, go to the Shilai Temple in Hacienda Heights in California. But I say go for the full experience. Go big, come to Taiwan.